Hello, everybody. Uh, welcome to another episode of Eric's on TV. Hello, Lauren. Hey, Curtis. Hey, everybody. Hey, hey Lauren. Um, uh, we have we talk about a lot of different investment topics, and I thought that this one would be important because um, uh, we've talked about hedge funds in the past right. and about yes. how you know, the high expense ratios and they don't typically uh, done as well as the market. Right. Um, so there's another another type of fund called alternative funds, and uh, the reason I think this is important is that uh, we always talk about in the past mutual fund inflows and outflows. Right. So this year, um, this year because you know the markets uh, haven't had, done much. Yeah, haven't <laughs> done much, but there has there actually still been inflows into mutual funds, oh, okay. uh, which is good. That's good. Uh, roughly 50 billion of new money into, into mutual funds. Uh, but the thing that's interesting is half of those half of that money or about 26 billion to have, have gone into alternative funds oh, and, um, <laughs> and so this so this, this is a USA Today article and they talk about different types of alternative funds uh, they, they they definitely have higher expense ratios than right. typical mutual funds by quite a bit actually and um, they use strategies borrowed from hedge funds but they make it so it's you know, it, you know less dollars to get involved and right. some examples of uh, alternative funds would be funds that maybe bet against the market, like bear market funds, yeah. or fund. They have one other version called long and short funds, which is they try to they try to say that it's going to do well in both bad and right. markets. <laughs> it's a neutral type fund. Yeah, there's also like a multi currency fund. So, just the takeaway from this is I just wanted to talk about some some numbers. So over the last three years, if a person just invested in a, 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 a basic stock market index like the S and P 500. Right. They would have made nearly 20 percent per year. Right. <laughs> okay. So, so these are some of the alternative funds that have gained in popularity. So, the the long and short, or what they call the the neutral fund, has gained uh, only 8.3 percent during that same time period. Right. Uh, the multi currency funds, uh, using uh, you know hedge fund strategies with the international currencies and U.S. currencies, has made actually fell 0.78 percent per year, which it should. Yeah. Always. Uh, bear market funds, which is bet against the market. Right. <laughs> so in my mind, okay, my, okay, in my, in my mind, if you're betting bet against the market, you probably should have lost about twenty percent per year. Right. These actually lost twenty seven percent. Twenty seven percent. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and then last but not least, the multi alternative fund, which is a combination of all kinds of strategies built in right. one package yeah. alternative fund, have made about three percent per year. Yeah. Oh, so what's yeah. your takeaway? <laughs> oh yeah, so just some interesting technical points. Those those bear market funds and the ultra bull funds, you know, that supposedly right. double the returns or whatever, they get you even worse returns than you would think because the downs hurt worse than the ups feel good with those funds because they're based on um, daily daily movement in the market. The multi currency fund is particularly bizarre to yeah. me because the expected returns of a basket of currencies should always be zero. Right. <laughs> and then you know you just subtract your expenses. Right. So I don't know what on earth anyone's hoping to get out of multi-currency yeah. funds. Um, and then, you know, the, the other stuff, um, the long short fund, I mean, that's just hope, hoping in active active management. Right. It's just hope. I mean, you, and, you know, these things are popular just because uh, there's always something new and, you know, maybe right. this will be impressive and they play on, you know, fe the currencies plays on fear of the U.S. dollars. Right. The bear market fund, well, that one's obvious. Fears that things are going down. It's all just fear, fear, fear. There's not much of an actual investment right. strategy. Yeah, I, I, mean, I, think was, I mean, I think the takeaway to end this episode is if somebody wants to control the uh, the risk of the of the overall stock market. There's a way to do that by right. using diversification, yes. bringing in short-term fixed income to, yes. to neutralize volatility, and you can do it a lot less expensively. Yes. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you for watching this episode of Ericsson TV. We'll see you next time. Bye now. See ya.